Well, it's been a while since I've been actually vlogging. It's been really busy with all my assignments and everything. But you know what? I'm finally on Sam break. I got myself a fresh new haircut. And right now, we are actually going to KL because I'm going to be volunteering at the Wild Tree Digital Conference, which is a tech conference organized by Wild Digital. And I'm going out there as a testimony collector. And I'm going out with my mom this time, so it's going to be really fun and exciting as well. Got myself some test kits, and I'm really looking forward to the next three days of our event. See you there. I've never been really a big fan of Korean shows, but oh my goodness, this was a damn good movie. I just realized I never actually took a video of the place that I stayed a few times when I came out to KL. So this place is actually called Nadi Bangsa, uh, and it's actually a place that we are staying at. That is my mom's friend's place. So look at the view, it's beautiful out there. You can see the, the Tika, I think it's the HQ over there and just give you a little tour of my room. So over here we have a great big mirror and I actually have a bed off for myself. It's pretty spacious as well and I actually like that there's hangers and it's a pretty average size room and then tomorrow I actually will show you guys what's on the outside. But I really like it because it's high rise and it also has a lot of sunlight coming in as you can see from the windows over over here all right so we are going to go to bed right now because we're gonna wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to get ready for the day the place that we are going to is a place called trend lab is a co-working space if not not mistaken and we're going to be having our full day of event over there so super excited can't wait to show you guys more tomorrow morning first things first we've got to do our COVID-19 test now this is a pretty standard procedure in a lot of events nowadays so they will typically ask you to do it the morning before you arrive at the venue just like what I'm doing here right now. Now a morning routine I stick by too no matter if I'm at home or out travelling is to actually make my bed before I head out for the rest of the day. Good morning, good morning. Here we are at the event space. This is a behind the scenes of what I do as a testimony collector. So after every session, the speakers will actually be assigned to us where we will be gathering their testimony on how the event went, how was their session and what we can do better for future events. One of the best things of being a volunteer is that we are able to tune into the live sessions so that we are able to learn from the speakers as well. So, the main topics of Wild Tree were actually on the Metaverse and Web Tree. However, speakers were also able to share their knowledge on cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and also decentralized finance. Alright, so just to end day one for today, it's been a really good day, really tired, and we had dinner just now. It was a like really good dinner as well. I'm really happy about it. And I'm looking forward to day 2 tomorrow So mom is going to go on a hiking trip with some of her friends So she won't be driving me to the lot Instead Lin is actually going to be picking me up from the location the Mar Manara UOB or somewhere there So I gotta wake up in the morning tomorrow and actually walk to the location And it's gonna be a little bit earlier for the call time i'm gonna have to meet her at 8 30 tomorrow morning so i will see you guys in the morning good morning so just got done washing up changing packing up all my stuff and i'm about to leave the house mom already left the house like super early in the morning to go hiking with her friends so right now i'm actually gonna walk to Manara you will be and later Lin is gonna be picking me up along with Atika and we're gonna be head over to the loft. But check out this beautiful view behind me.
Every time when I'm here, I always like to look out this window. I, I believe it's like a nicer view. Um, different from what we have in Malacca, but also nevertheless a very beautiful view over here. Okay, so I'm making my way to the place right now and what I realized it's not called Manara UOB. It's actually called Manara UOA. So I realized I've been saying it wrong for the past um, to this morning and last night. So where I'm going now is Manara UOA and I'm going to bring you guys and take a look around this area. There it is! Nara UOA! Woo! While I was waiting for late, I was checking out Manara UOA and I found out this place is also a MRT station. Day 2, the team is ready to go! Daniel, say hi. Tika, say hi. That is a wrap for our event. So Daniel is taking me around KL to actually get a bite to eat. So we're in KLCC Central and we're going to check out places to eat. Quick and simple dinner. Yeah, check that burger out. Managed to get a quick lunch with Z and Daniel the next day and visited the treehouse as well. Alright, so on the 15th of April, we were actually supposed to head back to Melaka but suddenly my auntie actually called us up and asked us if we wanted to go to Ipoh. So we decided to just take our time and have a day trip to Ipoh rather than going back to Melaka straight away. So while we were in Ipoh, we checked out some pretty famous spots like here is Concubine Lane and we actually went around and did more sightseeing and also ate the famous foods in Ipoh Perak. From here, you can actually see my mom got herself a really new cap. We also visited this place called Sing Wong Fai Peanut Candy Shop. So this is actually a very famous shop here in Ipoh and you can see from the really long queue that everybody wants to get a piece of this peanut candy to bring back home. And it was really interesting to see the process of how they filled in their bags because you can see here they have a huge pile of peanut candy and this worker is just filling it manually one bag at a time. So it's really interesting to see that this is still being done manually by the workers. And before we actually went back home, we also got a quick meal at this really famous shop in Tanjong Malim. And that's it for my trip to KL and Ipoh and I look forward to showing you more adventures in my upcoming vlogs.